Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. On January 1st, we rang in a new year. We said goodbye to the teens and looked forward to our own version of the Roaring Twenties. Little did we know what would be ahead. You know, if we held a contest for the worst year ever, 2020 would be the hands-down favorite. Each of us has a story to tell, however. The wildfires, which consume over 27 million acres in Australia, hit close to home for me and my wife. Two summers before, a speaking engagement took us to Australia for the first time. We took the opportunity to make it a once-in-a-lifetime working vacation. The highlight was a stay on Kangaroo Island in the acclaimed Southern Ocean Lodge. It was an experience that reminded me of the old Fantasy Island television show. This famous establishment and much of Kangaroo Island and its wildlife fell victim to the fire. Many thought the fires would be the top bad news story of 2020. Oh, how wrong we were. We each have our stories, though, of trips canceled, opportunities lost, jobs in jeopardy, health scares, people we know coming down with this virus, and an overall feeling of uncertainty. Our own 2020 dark cloud culminated in the unexpected loss of a beloved pet on Memorial Day. Half gone, 2020 has been one of emptiness. But what about the half that's ahead? Each of us has a story, and this one is a dog story. When we lose a dog, the answer for us has always been to give another dog a home. And so we adopted a 13-month-old Sheltie named Brandy. She's adapting well to the life as an inside dog, being the center of attention, and learning the normal dog tricks. For us, Brandy's arrival is a sign that there may be hope for 2020 after all. She's a beautiful girl, smart, and gets up every day as if there's something great ahead. The search for the right pet looks like a home run. And you know, you're hearing some squeaking in the background and normally I would stop and you'd just do this all over again. But this is Brandy laying at my feet with her favorite chew toy and we're gonna let her continue and we're gonna let that be part of this video. You know, we've all dealt with new situations and we've shown that we're a people that can adapt. And as we look forward to the second half of 2020, Maybe, maybe, just maybe, that's going to pay off for us. We're hopeful that the arrival of a new pet will be the start of a trend for the rest of the year. Now I want to ask you, what about you? What's the bright spot? What's the signal that good days are ahead? Put something in the comments. If you're looking at this on YouTube, put it in the comments. If you're reading it on the blog, please put comments there. I want to tell you a story about someone who, whose, whose life, and in particular, whose death gives us a little bit of a clue as to how we might look ahead. In 1965, Sir Winston Churchill died, and he knew the time was coming, and so he planned for his own funeral down to the last detail. The ceremony was held in St. Paul's Cathedral with all the pomp and majesty befitting a world leader. But at the end of the service, two things happened. As the casket was being carried down that long aisle, Churchill had instructed that a bugler be positioned high in the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral. And as the procession made its way down the aisle, the bugler was to play taps. That, that universal song, that universal uh, uh, message that something has ended, something has come to a close. But as the final notes of taps echo through the cathedral, something else happened. You see, Churchill had instructed that another bugler positioned high on the other side of that great dome at that moment would begin to play Reveille. It's that universal tune that signals it's time to get up. It's time to get up. It's time to get going. Well, we're halfway through 2020 and many of us are ready to blow taps over the whole thing. With an entire half of 2020 still in front of us, we have roughly 180 more sunrises. 
We have roughly 180 more chances to sound Reveille. We have 180 more chances to get up and get the day going and make it count. Friends, let's get going. If you're listening on Anchor, please come over to the blog post. If you're watching this on YouTube, please come over to the blog post. There are pictures and there are video to add to the story. You'll find it over at frankbuck.org. Click on the link for the blog. Uh, you'll see um, a little more of Brandy. So thanks for stopping by today. This has been Frank Buck and Brandy playing with their toys in the floor, helping you get organized and make it look easy.